Once a year, a certain group of NFL players leave home to attend one of the nation's most prestigious schools. Appreciate you guys all coming. Today's probably our biggest work day. This is about sharing information, whether that's in route running, whether that's in just approach, mentality. All right, Trav is going to start us off with a little cut up. Forgot to read the manual, guys. Give me one second. DJ, turn me up. The tight end position is very fun. It's very unique. Caught! George Kittle, touchdown! Kelsey at the 20, 15, touchdown! We're standing on the shoulders of all the tight ends that play before us. Caught by Dallas Clark, touchdown! Dawson, oh, that's oh, an unbelievable! Oh, 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 oh. You tell us, Greg Olson, you let everybody know. We're helping guys go out there for training camp and make the roster as a 53-man roster or even as a practice squad guy. Are you Superman? Are you Clark Kent? If you can get 1% better, show me right now. For three days in Nashville, Tennessee, it's positional higher learning. Technique and fundamental. Ooh. That's what we do. Mixed with less academic extracurriculars. We have a lot of fun at TEU. Oh, he's great. But our goal by the end is wherever you came in in the previous season, you go to your next season and you just take one more step up the ladder. I love the top of your route. I love it. We do have the best position on the field. We're all the utility guy. You need a guy, we are the guy. We're here to get better, we're here to have a good ass time, baby, so fire the f up! If you're not a tight end, we can't let you enroll, but we'll let you sit in. This is Tight End University. See you on three, see you on me, one, two, three! See you. From Philly to Detroit, Kansas City to Charlotte, our tight ends arrive from far and wide. If you could sign this, um, there's just some filming going on. There's filming going on? I haven't seen. <laughs> like, when's, when's that happen? What I think is cool about TEU is the fact that we didn't really set out planning for it to ever become this. You know, and back in, I retired after the 20 season, 21, Kittle sends me like a, hey, congrats on a good career kind of thing. Hey, if you're ever down in Nashville, a bunch of us come down here to train. And, you know, it's him and Hawkinson and a handful of guys. And then he texts me back. He's like, hey, I think our group's up to like 10. Can you make it down this summer? And I was like, you know, is there something here? Is there something bigger? It went to 20, 30. And I think that first year we had 50 guys. 50 guys. And, it looked a little different when we checked in, but here we are in year four and, you know, 80 guys last year. It was a no-brainer yeah. to, to jump on board, and um, it's just been, like you said, the first year to where it is now um, blows my mind. Three years ago, I was I was begging to get the invite. I was a senior in college. I was like, I wonder if they're going to invite the college guys this year, you know? <laughs> Didn't make the cut for that. <laughs> we asked. George said no. Geez, relax. It's really like you're just building up the brotherhood of the tight end room. Like, now you have young guys as rookies, comfortable talking to guys all over the league. I'm the dinosaur, of course. You're the pup. And you don't look like the dinosaur. I might have done a couple extra rest of those. <laughs> I think tight end's very unique. So it's kind of cool to see, like, the evolution of it. Think in 07, 08. <laughs> If you wanted to be top 10 in the league at receiving in tight end, you only needed five, 600 yards. Nowadays, you could have a 1,000 yards 18, and not boys. make the Pro Bowl. Oh, for sure. I am the old dog here. So, and again, the league, you know, obviously, Tony Gonzalez is, yeah, he's, he's, he is the guy. Gonzalez breaks a tackle into the end zone, touchdown. But no one knew wh who, what tight end was on, you know, because they were a glorified tackle. Yep. You know, so then Antonio Gates came on the scene, and he was just doing, it's like, that doesn't look right. Like, yeah. what is he doing? Two on one. Antonio Gates ain't playing that game, boys. Watching his cutups and watching how he gets open. And you can tell it's not coach. You can just, it's like, there's just something natural about his knack and his ability to get open and, and his space awareness. Antonio Gates, boy, has he been something. It was Dallas. It was G Antonio Gates. It was Gonzalez. It was Jason Witten. You know, there, there was a handful of top, top guys, but there wasn't one at every single team. Young tight ends didn't pop early in their careers yeah. back in the day. Yeah. The days of these guys busting out fast, having years like he had last year as rookies, like 
that wasn't the reality for the longest time. Yeah. yeah. And so I played receiver in high school. I loved watching Megatron. I loved watching Keenan Allen's, um, the, lank, the lanky guys, how they're creating separation. It's almost, it, it's Fugazi. It doesn't exist. It's like, how the f is he five yards away from that guy? How is he creating that much separation, right? We were hoping to catch a play pass under center, yes. play action, corner out in the end zone. That was like the highlight of our, in 07, that was like the highlight of the game plan. Every, every four weeks. We sure as hell were split out, running option routes and goes, and that wasn't happening back then. Early on in my football career, like I'm talking like high school and before that, like the tight end position wasn't something I desired. I was like, man, I'm, I want to have the ball in my hand. I want to either be a quarterback or a running back or a wide out. And I think when people looked at me, they were like, oh, no, you're a tight end. And I'm just like, yeah, but no, I don't think so. <laughs> and I think, I think guys now, like, they see the position as something fun. It's not just the guy that's doing all the work and not having, you know, the touchdowns yeah. and the yards and everything. You get to do everything on the field. You get to hit a guy. You get to go out and make plays. You get to go out and get other guys open. It's so much different than any other position in the NFL. After a day of orientation, TEU starts to party. We just want to welcome you guys to year four of TEU. And the coolest thing about it all is just really continue to elevate the tight end position. To be able to learn from the stars of the game, obviously George and Travis at the top of the list, all the way down to guys just starting out on their journey. This event is for everybody. Levi's has a customization thing over there. Go get your hat, your jeans, whatever you want to do over there. We have a sick vest. It's completely made out of football leather, so whoever shows most improvement throughout the week is to take this home. F yeah! It'll be pretty cool, basically. Oh, be better. Uh, Greg's not participating in camp, so he can't win it, even though he wants to. I can't get any better. You guys are here. Don't be afraid, man. Don't be afraid to shake a hand and ask a question and ask your fellow guys across the league what they saw on, on a certain route or what they think about uh, going into a game, man. That's why we're here. There will be a bus at 9 a.m. leaving from the front of the hotel to go over to Vanderbilt. My strength coach, Josh, is going to be over there and put this through a nice workout. We're going to try to find Travis by 10.50. <laughs> we're going to try. Fire the Mornings in Nashville can be difficult. The day's first lesson for our tight ends. No clear drag music. Not fair. It's horrible. Or he's like, oh, let's go get IBM. I'm like, ah, you can sleep for 35 more minutes. <laughs> let's go get yeah. But I'll go. Enjoy yourself, get some coffee, and I'll see you guys in a little See you in an hour or so. You went out last night at Morgan Wallen's bar and you got up at 8.30 to do a facial? I wore at some point. Botox and a facial? You're impressed. Why? I don't even understand. That doesn't even, my brain doesn't even process that. My wife made me click. After a late night, even a senior instructor can find himself in need of assistance. How was last night? Did a quick Google search. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, good. we're good. He goes, I did a quick Google search. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see anything I didn't like, you know? <laughs> Hi, gentlemen. Welcome. So anyway, thanks for everybody being here. Uh, for those that don't know, my name's Bruce Kill. I'm George's dad, so uh, you know, to do the official welcome. So many of you I've seen before. It's great having everybody back. We hope this is a super great experience for everybody. All right, Trav is going to start us off with a little cut up. I Obviously, for a lot of you guys in here, it'll probably be worth just hearing how he goes about his approach, mentality. Forgot to read the manual. Guys, give me one second. <laughs> just stay on the job. Next on Tight End University. We're live, boys. The lads hit the books. I can't stress enough about understanding defenses. All I'm thinking about is how inside out can I be? Jeremy Shockey had the greatest advice on pass pro. I got dumbbell lateral raises. Give me 15 reps. 
This is not a tight end. Like this is a linebacker. He's, 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 he's here to steal secrets. Kettlebell pearls. He's been falling around all day. Last block. Forgot to read the manual. Guys, give me one second. The tight end position is a workman's position, but it does not work in tech. Oh, hold on. There you go. Love it. Love it. I can't see from here. I gotta sit. We're live, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of just try and give you guys an insight of, you know, how my football routine of walking up to the, the line of scrimmage, understanding the play, but mostly understanding what the defense is doing. I can't stress enough about understanding defenses and not just understanding, oh, it's cover two. What is this team's technique and how they're running cover two to stop what we're doing? I know, I know once it's cover four, the biggest thing for me is to get through second level and see if a guy's either, if that backside safety is going to cut me or if the front side safety is gonna latch. Speed through second level on all your deep crosses, all your sail routes, anything over the middle past 10 yards, the, the basics, Eyes, shoulders, lean. My deception is I am f hauling ass. I am getting out of there so that linebackers or second level defenders, they're like, he's either taking the cap off the defense or he's doing something that I'm not responsible for. So I'm trying to get into his mind and him just absolutely lose the track of where I'm going. So my eyes are on this guy in a cover four look or both of the sages in a cover four. And once I see, once I see these guys bail, now I know, I just gotta get through second level clean. Now pass cut, 40 yard line, wide open, 30. This is Kelsey, 15, 10, and gets tackled at the five yard line. That's why we get in the weight room, baby. This year we're gonna talk pass pro. Um, there's a handful of guys in here that get, I mean, I'd say majority of tight ends are somewhere between 15 to 30 snaps of it. There's a handful of us that get like 50 plus but it's something that I don't think you get, tight ends get a lot of time to work on. It's just something that's kind of like, hey, we hope you're good at this. Sunday, you're blocking Nick Bosa one-on-one -on -one for at least two snaps, so good luck with your technique. And I just want to give you guys kind of what your thought process should be when you know that you're going to be in an, a protection. Every time I get into my stance, I always look at the end, the Sam, and the strong safety. Like, those are the three guys I'm looking at. And like, on this play, I know it's like, I'm a man on him, so like, I don't really, no one else really matters, but like, I have my eye on that corner because I know if he, sh if he blitzes, uh, that's gonna be Juice's guy, but I know if he blitzes, he's gonna take the C gap, right? So like, I, my plan is that I'm gonna get out here, but I'm banking on him not blitzing because I just don't think his body language is like that. Whenever you have the press guys in tight, you always wanna be aware of those corner blitzes because that's gonna tell you what the defensive end is gonna do every single time. Anytime you're going against a five down front, I know that no matter what, this guy, if he drops, I gotta go to the flat. If he's pressuring me, um, I know that I have him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, in my mindset, um, really the number one thing you have to do is you just have to be inside out, right? You cannot, because I know for a fact that my right tackle is blocking this all pro guy right here, that, so I am 100% alone, McCaffrey's gone, he's gonna catch the ball at some point. So I know for a fact that this is gonna be a big ass C gap, and the quickest way for him to get to Brock is to go through that C gap. So all I'm thinking about is how inside out can I be without turning my ass completely into the hole, getting bull rush back, or him just looping around me. Um, so that's my whole mindset on that. <laughs> Ice got under Hutchinson and planted him. Jeremy Shockey had the greatest advice on Pass Pro when we were teammates back in 2011. You guys know who Shockey is, right? He had this great voice. Yeah, he had it across the goal line. He had that covered. I mean, I ran right into him and I went. You are not. You are. So he goes, hey man, I'll tell you what. Here's the key to Pass Pro. <laughs> Talk to this high pitch. He goes, just don't get very good at it and they never ask you to do it and make the other do it. <laughs> it was great. What happened to your celebration, guy? Yeah. Nice job, buddy. So the elements of a route are our release, our stem, and then our restack at the top, some sort of in and out of the break, right? Whatever that break calls for angle. Okay, those are the three main elements. None of the stem, leverage, or in and out of the break matter if you don't get a clean release off the line. So as we go, I know I got an outbreak in route here. I want to take this away. And out of the corner of my eye, this guy gets real cloudy in here, right? There, there's not a whole lot. I mean, I might be able to catch this in this alley here, but this is gonna be a headache. This is where all my room is. If I just run out now, 
I'm gonna have to catch this ball on the boundary and Cam's gonna have to really rip this thing and I'm gonna have to tap it on the sideline because I'm gonna run out of space to the boundary side, right? The way we talked about it is we would always restack that soft shoulder. So as I run at his nose and I get him to just stay even with me, I know at the top, I always wanted to try to at least get one revolution, meaning two steps, going as vertical towards the end zone as I could. I wasn't fast enough to just like run things and curve it. These guys would undercut me. So as I restack here at the top, that little lean right there is now the timing where I don't have to catch the ball and tiptoe the sideline and I'm 12, 13 yards deep. I have to restack him and get his hips flipped. And the second I get his hips from that to that, I got him, right? And that's the difference of instead of just running out of it, that's the difference of getting into that soft shoulder, one more revolution to get him from driving here. Now he's now he has to drive with an open with his belt to the boundary, right? So that's how we would talk about our releases and our stems. So we're gonna do some of that release stuff outside today, let you guys feel it. And again, let's run routes full speed. And the only way to get better is by doing things the right way. Next on Tight End University. Really get skinny and drop that shoulder. The coursework heats up. Oh, it's a little humid. Nothing I can't take back from Louisiana. And the gents cool down. Hey guys, how we doing? Yeah, how are you? Hey, I'm great. Thank you. It feels like a very fitting touch. I think I might wear them just like this. These are going on the towel. Roll them up. You just go on the towel. You, I, ain't, I ain't going out with the towels and things. You have a 14 wider? I'm open minded. Yeah, no problem. Well, this one of our top selling boots, too. That's cool. Perfect. Done. Make sure whatever you give like me, those. give him the less cool. Okay. I got the fit for it. I'm about to wear the shit out of these. Things. Now it's time for some hands on learning. First move up! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's go! Uh -oh. uh, why aren't your cleats on? Uh, I haven't run a route since the last game I ever played. I want to throw, we called it a poco. I want to throw you the poco. I want to, I want to read the If I ran that right now, it would be so slow. <laughs> Pair up with each other, it can start half speed. The way I always thought about it, everyone does it a little different. If you can get that back foot to threaten me, get me off my spot. Now as Travis gets into his route, he's got me with my hips facing the goal line. He has me now. He can run his sail, he can run his over, he can restack me. He's got me on a, uh, he's got me on a string. No. Get me off my spot, throw it hard. More. Come back. Just run through my inside shoulder nice and easy. Just don't. You ready? Now look. Oh, sorry. Now I'm going this way. And now as he breaks, break. That's separation in the NFL. Do you even need sugar at the top of that? You it depends know? how good you are out of your break. Some guys, you know, some guys got a little bit more wiggle. I think it's a good indicator to the quarterback, right? So think about it like a basketball crossover. Yeah. I do a lot with my shoulders because that gives that's like if you're looking at a route a lot in the shoulders dictates like if a guy's breaking if a guy's going like a certain direction yeah. the wings has no uh but for the most part I think that staying underneath yourself is the biggest thing and not giving your chest you know what I mean whatever you want to do outside of that is cool but you want to stay underneath and under at the same time don't give them any any leverage they just you know what I mean Get up, get up. Right idea, right idea. Oh yeah, next up, next up. So really sell that here. We want to get our defender doing this to break over. Good, good. There it is, right there, right there. That's what it looks like. Like a three third inside out. Like a square out? 
No, a little speed out. Like a corner, like a like a nub side yeah, corner. Who you're running earlier? Yeah. Say it's uh, yep. we're off. It's off and inside leverage. Yeah. We're attacking leverage, but we do run like, right uh, at him. We just do vertical stems though. If it's inside. I don't like you it. You still think? So uh, so here, watch. This is why I don't like vertical releases versus man. So I'm inside leverage on you. Yeah. Now run at me. Run at my run at my nose. Hold me where I am. Look, see the difference? If you run straight and this guy's worth it, I'm just gonna hold my ground and now I'm gonna be square. And if you're gonna break out, my hips are going that way. We've gotta get their hips going that way so we can break. Don't, don't pitter patter at him guessing what he's gonna do, but we gotta run at him, threaten him. Flash, I'm gonna interview you in the middle of your route. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I What's your I, release that you're gonna do today? I think I got this guy beat right here. Holy I don't know. You do you. That is. Let's turn that shoulder, baby. You don't really have to go here. I always just try to do that because then once they push it, it's mess. You don't really have to get low. There it is. 19. Oh, like that. I like that a lot. That actually me up. Outside foot up. We're just going to give him a nice jab. Oh, oh, he's right there on If Dak's the quarterback on the hand, and I have a dig, and I got to run a deep over, I can beat George here. And look, he can't throw me the ball here. Now I got to run from me to that backside alley, looking like this, with a guy who's probably faster than me chasing me. I got to win over here. Right, we got to win ball. On both of those, you can sell one more revolution, right? Get off it, like right when you're about to sell it, you 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 stop, right? So they're just about to do this, they're like, oh, no, I know what you're doing, right? Sell it, get them to open their hips up. More, more. There you go, there you go. You don't move your arms. You'll run a lot faster if you pump, yeah. I kid you not, watch the film. Film, where are you at? Good, good. High angle, better angle. See how that easy, that's the easy catch right there. Give them a chance. Quarterbacks aren't, they don't want to make dimes every freaking throw. Good, good ball, CJ. God, so pretty. We have to see the game through the eyes of the quarterback. At this part, we always want to take advantage of having the quarterbacks here. We got some guys with a ton of experience, a ton of success. Hey guys, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, wow. Played for the Rams, Bengals, Bills. Titans, yeah. Texans, yeah. Jets, yeah. Tampa, yeah. Miami, yeah. and Washington. Yeah. We develop scars as quarterback. If I'm expecting you on the backside to be open on a route, and three times in a row in practice, you get jammed at the line, you fall down, you end up breaking out. When I think you're breaking in, you're not going to see the ball. You're not even going to get the quarterback to look over there. I appreciate you, man. First, uh, just letting me be here. It's always fun to, to learn the game in any way that you can. Man to man, none of you guys should ever be covered. Man to man should never be covered. You should know where your quarterback's thinking, where he's thinking about putting that ball away from that defender because you're a mismatch. You've got the size bigger than any third level guy, and you're usually faster than the second level. I know those backers are getting faster, right? But that's where the indication and that's where just understanding where I want to throw the ball and where I want you to be is, is huge. If we're not on the same page as you, you don't have a shot. If you have a good tight end, you got a chance to have a great team. So, appreciate you, man. All right. Mm. Let's get a TU on three. TU on me. One, two, three. T -U. Let's go. Okay. Next up, we're going to the Brooklyn Bowl with all the tight ends. Tight ends and friends are throwing a concert. We've got country music artists. It's going to be a great time. Oh, oh he's crazy. Oh. No, sir. That's a lot. At TEU, we strive to provide our students with maximum cultural exposure. Relatively speaking, of course.
just want to say thank you so much for everyone coming out. It's the first annual uh, Titans and Friends concert at the Brooklyn Mall. Here in Nashville. I'm out of baby! We really appreciate you guys being a part of this. Man, Titan University was awesome today, but I am starving. I could really use some chicken wings. I got you. Coming up on Tight End University, advice from the upperclassmen. You have a chance to take those things off. <laughs> there we go. That's next on Tight End University. There's cameras on you right now. You have a chance to take those things off. <laughs> there we go. And now, I don't, now we're. Just, I was just, pretty confident just, wearing just, these. Just set them right here. Set them right here. So now you'll be able to show your kids. <laughs> you'll be able to show your kids in ten years. Like, hey guys, I went to tight end. You. It's pretty. Hey, look at me. All the, hey, see those dumb glasses? Yeah, that's me in those dumb glasses. Wow. <laughs> so what have you been up to? Just been traveling around? Yeah, trying to knock some out. Yeah. Get my toes in the water and other other worlds like acting and. Yeah. How's that going? I like football. Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a compliment for you. No, no this I is am. gonna be a back. I'm tearing you down and I'm building you back up. Okay. That's, what, that's what we do. All right. Uh, great routes yesterday. Thanks. Really good cuts. Cheers. No, no, no. Cheers. Today's class is underway, with attendance slightly down. All right, hey, we're gonna get rolling. I know, obviously, as usual, on day two, we lose a couple soldiers to Broadway and beyond. So, George, take it away. We do this every single year. The NFL is the NFL, right? Not for long. Uh, we kind of bring guys up here and just like what their mindset is and how they've made it so long into their career. And so we're trying to help everyone else that's younger try to find something, hear something that inspires them or something that they can write down, be like, oh, hey, that, that works for me too. Something that's just gonna give you a little tool in your tool belt to uh, build a successful career. I'll start? Yeah, yeah sure, man. Our old crusty, freaking ornery Tom Moore offense coordinator, he said it the best. You are your CEO of your company. You are the CEO of the company. How successful do you want your business? So know your body, know what your weaknesses are, and know what your strengths are, and then what are you gonna do as a CEO to maximize your efforts, maximize your strengths, and improve your weaknesses. Be the best CEO, be the best company you can be, whether it's for the team you're on now or a future team. You have to find a way to keep excelling your game. When I was younger, I struggled with feeling confident and seeing what the defense was in. Clear as day that it's covered too when I look back at it now. But in my mind, I was like, man, it's the NFL. This gotta be tricking me right now, dog. <laughs> they gotta be with me. I just started to watch clips of base game plans throughout the league. Start to look straight at the safeties. How does the second level uh, play based off of what the third level is doing? And it's just a trickle effect. The same thing in the run game. Who's assigned to what gap in the front? So now I know exactly how I'm gonna block this guy, or I know exactly the footwork and, and the leverage I need to, to, to block whatever technique is there, right? Fuel the mind so that you not only can play fast and play confident, man, but you're just nonstop uh, walking up that staircase and keep getting better and keep uh, ascending. You'll find out very quickly, not all guys that are successful work super hard. What I realized over time, though, was the common denominator of all successful guys was belief. Either you would define yourself or some dude that probably has never played a snap would try and define you. What you do on a daily basis should be what helps increase belief. If you're around people that speak negative thoughts, get them out of your life. That's going to lower belief. If you know, like, in your heart of hearts, if you know social media is killing your brain, get off of it. Every single one of you guys has the ability to be great. Thanks, guys. Bruce is going to give a little description. We're going to do some of the run game, pass pro stuff out on the field today. Bruce, take it away. So for George, and turn this way first. OK, so butt down a little bit. So he's going to try to keep his base down. So if I'm the D lineman, right, he's going to have a little bit of a shoulder lean. But you can kind of see hips over. We want to stay in this position. Now, when George engages, he talked about when they hit a bull rush, 
he's going to engage and really drop his feet back and lean in a little bit more. So, but the general position when you're not engaged yet, right, is this position. He's got his weight on the inside of his toes, on the inside of his feet, and it's a shuffle. You're not picking your feet up because you never want your feet off the ground, right? Because if the guy redirects, then you got to put your foot down before you can move. So we're trying to stay on the ground. So he's just, it's a super soft shuffle. So it's just like that, shoulders back. The next drill, we're just going to put a guy on, so we'll partner up, and it just gives you a focus point with me. So this is like the D lineman's interior number. So when I turn this way, so I'm just going to walk, and then I may walk back. And all you're learning is just to redirect and kind of stay on that point. Okay? We'll do that. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. We got to be quick. Stay here. Get there. On my whistle. Moving, yep, same, same. Pop, good, 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 good. Now, good job, boy. Hey, I like this group right here. Smooth is fast, fast is smooth. It don't gotta be super fast, but we gotta sell it. Get in, get out. All right, so I'm smooth in it. I'm smooth in it. I'm right, boom. Then I'm bop, bop. All right, sell it, here we go. Uh, good. Now the lecture continues out on the field. Just nice and easy. All right, here we go, sit. Just nice and slow. You're just working on body position and movement. It's nice and easy. We're working on the focal point. His hands are going to be up on the shoulder area. He's not going to punch me. And then he's just going to fall. He's going to follow me. Just nice and easy. All right, here we go. Sit. Did you drop the butt, shoulders back, chest out. Don't lean, don't lean. <laughs> nice. But don't step, slide. Be smooth. Remember in your dreams when you thought you'd be a smooth athlete? Huh? Like glide. Hey, I lost my own thing. I was like, all right, what am I about to do? All right. Individual pass pro. First drill in practice. First thing I would do is grab my tight end coach's script, and I would look during individual. Let's see what you had going. And if it said individual pass pro. See ya. Go. I didn't win. I'm not blocking oh. Julius oh. Miller's one on one oh. or Thomas yeah, Davis right. coming off the end. Like, oh, we're not gonna bull rush. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's gonna put his helmet my chin. I mean, what am I doing? My my fear was that was the worst drill in practice. My, my, my fear was Freeney gonna uh, try because Freeney tries. It's um, yeah, he's unblocking. You're not gonna block him. Oh, you doing one on ones? Oh yeah. Early on, nice yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 would, just, I, I, I didn't know. I Dan mean, Campbell's the old school kind of guy. I didn't know if he was like yeah, nice. He's a tight end guy though. Yeah. He wants to just gave me anxiety. I did it. Feed that guy. Love that. Just send me down to seven on seven. Coming up next, it's a big body block party. Going over power, so as he steps in, he's gonna punch, and he's grabbing, he's ripping, he's doing some right? On the field, TEU's eldest statesman continues his advanced course. Uh, we talked about the pummel drill, just get on your lines, and everybody can do it at the same time. I'll just blow a whistle. So we're just gonna be in here. Someone else should probably do this. Okay, so we're just and again, we're not going full bore here, so it's just strong enough where you can get the feel of what it means. <laughs> and I'm just working. Trying to get inside on his pack, and he's trying to get me out. We're just working on our base for inside hand placement. Thumbs up, palms on the chest. So 90% of the time, it works every time. Hey, coach Moore, hey, CJ, drop your ass, dude. Don't be a waist bender. That's crazy. Break, break, break. I think it takes a very special mentality to embrace 
playing tight end. I think you have to get as much joy out of the success of others, understanding that the more you buy into the success of the offense, whether that's clearing it out for a big dig or whether that's securing the edge to allow people to get <laughs> <laughs> close captioning it was oh. D I G. Wow, I can't. was it? Um, I can't. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Can I broke I broke your stride there. Sorry, My bad, dude. No, My bad. But, <laughs> you know, there, there's so many elements of the role of the position that, if done right, really serve everybody else and really lead to the success of the running backs, the quarterbacks, the other offensive line, whatever it is knowing that it will come full circle and you will get yours. Hey guys, when you're holding the pad for punch drill, don't put your hand put it on your chest, up against your body and hold it tight so he's got something to strike. Going over power, so as he steps in, he's gonna punch and as soon as he punches and extends all the way, and the things that happen on the punch, you're here, you strike, make sure you're emphasizing because what's the D lineman gonna do when he makes contact? He's grabbing, gripping, he's doing some right? So get your head and shoulders out so there's nothing to grab, okay? So it's strike, and then the pad guy, when I strike you, as you walk into me, just stop and recall just a little bit. Let me reset. He's gonna come in, strike again. All right, so George, do that. Reset. Hit. Shoulders over hips. Hands are staying up. Just a little bit of give and break. One thing we started doing the last two years is a rock set, so you're gonna make it look like run, attack his inside shoulder because you can't get beat inside. Be physical, and then you're gonna transition into a pass pro. Be aggressive, make the run, and then you can either stay on him, or if he tries to disengage, now you're going into a pass pro. So. I wanted contact as fast as I could, and once I had it, I'm not losing it. Now, I might be out here, I might not be great. You might push me back, but I'm not going to lose contact. Yeah. I don't like You don't want to And then re space. now, all of a sudden, yeah. I, you're, you're, you're spinning me around in circles. Yeah. I liked I like contact it. early. At Jump. least I could just fight. Once he picks a side, just run him. Yeah. Let him get to the edge where they think they're going to be able to bend it and get a free release and give him a little push. And like, oh, and over. I'll try and I'll try and get him out of get him out of uh, like gaps. Like if I know he's contained, I'll try and like give him like an inside step or something like that to try and get him to come yeah. like down there and then really square him up just so he he has to feel Still like he's got to get That's out the same there, thing. Right? Like I'm more of a what Drake said. Like I'm not gonna set back and with space. Right. I'm gonna get and bear wrestle you on the line. I can wrestle you for about three or four seconds. I got I'd much you. Rather get on the right. We're the utility guy, right? Whatever you need out there on the field, which means you got to be versatile, which means also we're one of the most relatable guys on the field. We can talk to the offensive line about football. We yeah. can talk to the wideouts about yeah. football. We can talk to the QBs. So our personalities, we can relate to everybody out there on the field. And the quicker you realize that and the quicker you embrace that approach, you can thrive at the tight end position oh, yeah. because yeah. physically, it is the hardest position to play in football. And Amen. I will go to bat. I used, I've, I've said this, and my, my old line buddies make fun of me. You, you got to block the same guys as an offensive line. You got to run routes as the same guy as the wide receiver, and you get paid half. Now, you some, guys yeah. <laughs> some guys got paid half. Some guys got paid half. Not all of us got paid oh, half. Man. Now, at Tight End University, the time has come to name the week's Levi's Valedictorian. Bring it up, guys! Bring it up! Where we thought had the most improvement throughout the course of Tight End U, uh, gets to receive the awesome custom football Levi's jacket. And so we looked from Monday night to the Girls Tuesday, Tuesday night to today, and just how someone took advantage of every single opportunity that they possibly had, whether it's on the field or off the field, by how they dress, how they treat everybody. Uh, so we thought Brady uh, should really win this one. Took advantage of every night and was really dominated it. And we also thought with the cutoff, you'd actually wear the hell out of this. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. congratulations. congratulations. I wasn't really expecting it by any means. I'm a pretty small name. Not many people know me, right? So uh, it's cool when you can see 
people like myself taking advantage of opportunities where they can go and uh, meet guys, learn from them, and learn a lot about the game and hopefully improve it for the future. As Tight End University concludes, graduation always comes with a party. But what's ha where am I at though? What? That's not Iowa. How good is this? Oh, it's short. Oh, that, should, all be, that. that should be in. Go that. in the hole. It's gonna get warmed up. Cam, where do you think this is going? <laughs> Ah, he called it. <laughs> can we edit that? Can we make it go? Dallas, do you golf at all? Yes. But holy, that's a wind burner. That's better. Dude, you crushed. Where's his yardage? What's going on? Did you guys take his stats down? Yeah, hold on. Can they give me the happy Gilmore? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would I do that? Uh, how far did you get it? Well, I had one that went OB that hit the rocks and, and went like 420, but they didn't count it. That counts. Uh, the inbounds, I think it was like 326, something like that. I got hit rocks in a golf simulator. <laughs> Why is it so realistic, Who put man? that in there? Come on in, guys. Come on in. Come on in. We're going to wrap. This event is only as good as not only the participation, but the engagement of you guys, right? If, if everything's pulling teeth, nobody wants to come, nobody wants to work. Everybody's late, nobody's on the bus, nobody's in meetings. The event doesn't work, right? So it all starts with you guys wanting to do this, and for that, we're very grateful. George, Trav, appreciate you guys wanting to do this all together and, and continue to build this thing. And it's so cool catching up with all you guys and hopefully call some of your games this year and be able to catch up on the field. Mm. I'll definitely see you. Man, be great. One thing, yeah. no matter what's going on in your life, whether it's football related or other, I mean, there are guys here, if you've got connections, that's great. Uh, we are always available, you know what I mean? And I really mean that. So like, if you're at an edge, don't ever hesitate to call us. And remember, you carry your attitude, energy, and effort. All those are choices. That's it. So if your attitude sucks, you only got one person to look at. All right? All right, George, you break her down. <laughs> Congratulations on another hey, uh, fourth job, year, guys. boys. Appreciate you, man. All right, tights on three, one, two, three. Nice. Woo! <clears throat> man, how does I hear that? Good day at tight end you, though. I could really use a pool right now. I got you. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The TEU motto is thus. Laborare, ludere, difficile. Work hard, play hard. What I think is cool about TEU is the event kind of matches the identity of the position. The position is fun enough, there's enough to dive into to make the week worthwhile, but also get the type of guys that are willing to work, willing to show up. That's why this event works. Yeah, you're just building up the brotherhood of the tight end room. Like now you have young guys as rookies, they gotta go across the field and say, what's up to Travis after a game? And be like, yeah. hey man, it's great, great yeah. seeing you again. Like you're comfortable talking to guys all over the league and that's what's kind of fun. Yeah. The guys that really like are the top at their craft in the tight end room are the most unselfish, the most the guys that will be giving everything they got, all the knowledge they got to the next guy down the line or just doing whatever they gotta do for their team. I think like the next generation of tight ends, like what my goal for it is, is you gotta like each team's gonna continue to get better and better tight ends, right? Yeah. And so hopefully it gets to the point where like 12 personnel, two tight end sets is like the norm in the NFL. Yeah. If we can get to that, yeah. that's gonna be just really special. A TEU party is the most exclusive in town, but the fraternity has decided to admit an outsider. Very few can party like a tight end. Except, maybe, a US Open winning golfer. That concludes this semester of Tight End University. And as our young men go forth onto the gridiron, proudly armed with their TEDs, 
May they be both boulders of immovability and masters of separation. And always hold the lessons of TEU in their hearts. The TEU class of 2024 is dismissed.